Welcome back, guys, and in this episode of Luxury Mudding in SnowRunner, we're going to be building a very interesting lineup of mud rigs that is going to consist of a truck, a car, and potentially another car, depending on how much stuff we can fit on our trailer. Now, we've brought out our OBS flatbed dually tow rig today, and you guys can actually get this truck for yourselves by following the link to its mod page on mod.io, which I will have left in the description down below, as of course, links to all of the other vehicles that I used. Now, with that being said, we are also on Sling Valley Mud Park today, which you guys can, I believe, get on both console and PC if my memory serves me correctly. So let's go ahead and head into the garage and we're going to get our lineup of mud rigs together and then we're going to grab our trailer and then we're going to actually head out to the mud pits themselves and it's going to be really interesting to see how all these trucks perform together or I should say vehicles because some of them are heavily modified cars and others are actual trucks. So like I said let's go ahead and go into the garage and I also sold all my DLC trucks so I didn't end up having to sell the collabs right there which is fine I'm not really worried about that. Now, the very first thing we're going to build is, oh, I think I passed it. There it is, the CE59 Panther. Now, this is a mod by CCM, and it's basically a gigantically lifted and modified Cadillac Eldorado with a lot of, a lot of hilarious features that if you guys haven't seen this thing yet, you're definitely going to be interested to see what's going on with this thing in terms of its add-ons and features, like I said. So, we're going to throw the 572 in it, and as far as gearbox goes, we're going to put the... We're going to put the quick box, the six-speed quick box, and the largest lift we could fit, which looks extremely goofy right now with the small wheels and tires. And, oh my god, I forgot that those were rank locked. That's really annoying and really frustrating. I will say, though, I just had a massive moment of relief when I realized that... Like, hey, wait a minute, I'm on PC, I can leave the garage and use the dev tools to throw the biggest tires on there that are possible. Let me find them real quick, the Tega tires. They should be, yep, there they are, and then go back into the garage to finish doing our add-ons, which is absolutely hilarious that it lets us do that. So now, we're going to go ahead and go to our upgraded offline winch. Frame add-ons wise, we don't need the hitch. That's not really anything that we need at all. I will throw the horns on the front because I feel like it totally makes sense if we're doing a mud build of this thing. And I've never actually put them on there before and I think they look hilarious. Now the hardtop just kind of looks weird and so I'm not going to use that. But I will throw Diesel Addict's card on the family pack. And let's see, the wheels, we're not really going to mess with the wheels at all. Now I do, whoa, oh bruh. Bruh, we, yes, oh my god, we need it. We absolutely need that. Definitely throwing beans on the dash as well. And this is going to be the first vehicle in our mud truck lineup. Now, I do want to go ahead and get it loaded on the trailer, but in order to avoid any weird, like, packing confusion, I'm going to go ahead and park it right here. Shut it down, and we're going to go back into the garage and build our other rigs. Now, I am going to build two more rigs, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit all of them. I'm hoping we can. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best, but we'll have to see how it actually goes. Now, our next rig is going to be, and like I said, I kind of wanted to put some more cars in this lineup, so we are going to do a Yeetmobile mud truck. Now, I haven't brought this thing out in a while, but oh my god, I love bringing this thing out. So we're going to keep the mud gearbox in it, and suspension-wise, you get one option there and let's see if we could do mm, I think we'll actually leave the patty tires on there I really like them and the roof we will put on it this time because we don't normally do that and then colors wise I really like running this thing in red but at the same time there's also a bunch of other like really cool colors but let's see if we can did my controller literally just decide that it was like not of this world anymore. I literally decided to upgrade to a wireless controller because I was like, oh, we'll have less problems. And here we are. Okay, yeah, now we're good. I literally reset my controller and it's like, oh yeah, you're fine now. Okay, so I really actually, I really like that blue and we're gonna go ahead and throw beans on the dash and make our way back outside and throw this guy in the same parking area. Now I almost said throw it on the trailer and then I realized we don't have a trailer yet. Dude, I love these. These are brilliant, like, side by side. It's like, they're so different. But yet, it's like the mentality to build them was somewhat the same. So now, let's go back into the garage and we'll build one more and we'll build a truck this time. And I actually kind of want to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. And in, in that sense, when I say out of the ordinary, I kind of want to do something that can accept, like, a side by side or an ATV. 
And let's see. So there's obviously the monster truck, the TNB monster truck. But where is the... Ooh. Ooh, this will work. So we'll get the Renegade, okay? Hear me out here. We'll get the Renegade. We'll paint it red real quick. And we'll take it outside. Not really going to spend a lot of time doing this one. But I will say... That we're going to put this guy right here and shut it down. And we're going to get one more vehicle. And I think that one more vehicle is actually going to be another OB. Well... Mm, no, we're gonna get a new Ford this time a 2017 L 400. We're gonna go bulletproof everything We're gonna go fast transmission. We're gonna go. Let's see big lift or well Actually the short lift flips over less so we'll do that But we'll do it with the largest BKT tires we can fit and then it actually really helps retain that lower center of gravity So it turns a lot better and so exhaust wise we're doing the let's see twin 45 degree stacks and we will do the rock lights. We're not going to need them, but we'll do them. And we're not going to do the steps on this one, but we'll do the Fab Fours grill up front. And lights-wise, we're going to do the aftermarket lights. And let's see. When it comes to the colors, ooh, it actually leaves, like, the Fab Fours part black. That's actually really sick looking. So we'll do that. And, oh, I just realized, if we're going to put the ATV on the back, we're going to have to actually do the, uh, let's see, the dump pipe. And we're going to put the toy up on the back. And now, we can throw the ATV on the back of this thing. And in order to do that, I think we might have to... Well, I think we might have to, like, dev tools our way into it. And it, at least in order to use the ramps over there. So let me put the smallest tires on it that I can. And then, let me do the tow suspension to make it as low as possible. So now I'm going to drive over there, load the ATV on the back... And then obviously we'll get a gooseneck to head out to the uh, to the actual mud pits. Let's back this guy up. I wish this was like just a little bit taller. There we go. Stop it right there. And get into the Can-Am Renegade. Oh, go forward. What are you doing? If I could like actually make my way up the ramp, that'd be great. Bruh, okay, we're going to have to hit it with some momentum. There we go. I just didn't want to actually like run into it like too fast. Because that can cause its own set of issues. Alright, go ahead and shut it back down. Now, let me pack it. Stop it. Thank you. Alright, let me pack you. And then, we're going to swap this guy's suspension setup back around to the lower lift. Or at least, like, the softer lift. That will give us the, kind of like, the, the sort of body control aspect that we want. And then, let's go to the, there it is. The ultra thick, <laughs> ultra thick tractor tires and shut you down. Then we go over to Lime's OBS and we get our trailer. Now the trailer will be available right back here in the trailer store. And I'm going to see if we can get the six unit gooseneck because that would work absolutely perfectly for us. Now also we do have uh, the updated Pog trailer pack on, which is really helpful. We're not going to be using it this time, but hey, where are you going? Now, I did remember to put the weighted bumper on this thing, which I'm super glad I did, because without it, we would be in deep trouble. All right, stop you right there. Put the ramps down, and actually, let's raise the suspension up to make the, the trailer approach angle not quite as crazy. Now, the Yeatmobile is going to go on first, then the Cadillac, and then the 17L400 with the Renegade on it all the way at the back. That should be the best setup to use. And I, I think, if I've thought about this correctly and I've thought it through correctly, or I should say if I've thought it through correctly, that will end up being the right way to go. So let's ease you forward just a little bit and then stop you right there. That thing does have the 1700 horsepower engine in it, so it's a little touchy in terms of moving it like small distances. Especially if you got it in a lower gear with like a shorter ratio, it hops basically. Let's get you up onto the trailer as well. I love how we've got, like, Diesel Addict's logo just hanging from the mirror. It's freaking great. I love that old-school steering wheel as well. And, of course, beans on the dash. I'm gonna have to inch it forward. Okay, there we go. Stop it right there. And we're gonna have just enough space for the 17L400. And when I say just enough, I mean, like, just, just enough. Let me back you up. And ease it this way. I'm trying not to, like, literally fling the Can-Am off of the back. Because I feel like if I do that, we'll be in, again, a lot of trouble. And I almost wonder if it might actually benefit us in terms of weight distribution to back this guy on and face the Renegade the other direction. Because that's where the majority of the weight is going to be on this truck anyway. Let's try not to, like, be too close to the edge. Oh, God. 
Oh, we're in trouble. Oh boy. Well, we're we've we've got it loaded up as best we can be. So now let me get in Lime's OBS. Start it up. First of all, we need to see if it'll pack all these. It will pack all of these. Let's see how the ramps work. They still go up! Bro, they still go up! Oh my god, the ramps still go up. Look at this! Look at what we've actually, like, achieved here. Look at what we've been able to put on the back of that trailer. That is, like, there is, like, a certain level of that not being okay, but another level of that being as, like, as totally okay with me as it gets. That's so cool. That is so sick. The fact that that all goes on there and it doesn't actually create, like, massive issues. The fact that that all goes on there without just absolutely freaking the whole game out. That is amazing and I am all for it. In, like, in every single possible way, I am all for, like, the setup that we've put together. That is so amazing and I need more setups like this in my life. I absolutely do. The only thing now that we need to be aware of is just making sure without a shadow of a doubt that we don't lose this entire setup by flipping it off the back of the truck. All right. Now, let's make our way out to the mud pits and uh, hope... So my truck just jumped in the air with a fully weighted bumper on it. That's nice to... Look at this. I have a weighted bumper and a tow suspension and I have the like highest engine power level that I can get. And it's still going, like, it's literally just yeeting the front end up off the ground into the air. But luckily, it appears that once we're going, we're okay. So I can actually take a lot of, like, a lot of, like, calmness in the fact that it can kind of work once you're on the move. The only thing is, like, once you start to actually get on the move, it's a little, like, it, the front end is a little light. So steering, yes, yeah, steering is a suggestion, let's say. I just love the fact that the Can-Am is packed on top of the 17L400 with the Yeatmobile and the Cadillac on the trailer itself. And actually, the weight distribution isn't terrible. Although, in hindsight, I feel like I probably should have put the Ford in the middle and the Cadillac on the back. I'm confident in my decision to put the Yeatmobile at the front. But as far as the other two, I feel like they should be switched. But I feel like that would have made the truck drive just a little bit better. But I feel like, you know, in terms of that, though, I feel like putting the L400 all the way at the back might have been a tiny little bit of a mistake, but then again, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. Now, we are going to skip the hill climb today because, like I said, this this test is, like, full-on mud-focused, and I gotta tell you, I would love to see, like, CCM maybe work with some of the other modders to get access to some, like, full-on mud truck tires to throw underneath that Cadillac. Like, that would be the coolest thing. And also... I just want to say that, like, now that we're rolling into the mud park, look at this setup. If you saw this setup rolling into your local mud park, I mean, I don't know about you, but I would be, like, instantly pulling out my phone and probably, like, a couple of cameras as well. Because, I mean, that right there is, like, full-on, like, multi-million dollar mudding setup. Like, that's... That's absolutely nuts. There's a, there would at least be like multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars on that trailer as it sits. But enough talking about it. Let's get it out into the mud and actually see what all these things can do. I said go. I love how like all the, oh God, all the torque just eats it off the ground. It had enough torque that like when it came back down, it slammed into the gate and just like tore up that side of the front end. But hey, we still sent it. So there is that. Now let's see, pulling up right here. Now it's time to get this mess unloaded. This is a lot of stuff to unload. All right, ramps down. Bring the suspension up to make the unloading a little bit easier. And, whoa, oh, oh, we didn't unpack it. I was like, why the heck can I switch to anything? All right, Lime's 2017 L400 goes first. Let's go. Yes. I wonder how long we'll be able to keep the Can-Am up top. Go ahead and raise you up. Throw it in high. Let's go. You never know. It might help the traction. Ooh. All right. Lay some power to it. It's doing pretty well. Like, dude, it's actually doing a really good job at keeping itself together. I'm impressed. 
Holy smokes, I'm really impressed by that. Like, that's legitimately amazing. Look at how good of a job it's doing, like, with the Can-Am on top of it. That's sick. Pull a little bit of a wheelie as well. It's actually doing a really good job of, like, not freaking out about the fact that there's weight up there. Even though, this isn't really all that stiff of a suspension. So let me unpack, repack, just to kind of, like, allow the Can-Am to have a little bit of rest in terms of its suspension. Because that suspension is getting pulled every which way. Now, we're going to grab the Cadillac throw it into the mud pit and see what it can do. But we're not going to go in the same way as we did in the Ford. We're actually going to drive over to where that backflip ramp is, and we're going to hit the big jump that goes directly into the mud pit. Will it nosedive? Will it make it? I don't know. It's time to find out, though. All right, let's whip this thing back this way. See if we can stay in fifth or roundabout fifth gear. Oh, my God. Shift up to sixth. It doesn't want to shift up to sixth. It actually stayed pretty low. No! Really? Really, dude? You had to just, like, lose it there? Are you serious? Man, all right, I'm gonna have to go back and get it with the 2017 L400 because when it landed, it bounced, and it bounced really, really hard. Like, it bounced hard enough that it basically was like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna stay on my wheels anymore. You're out of luck, buddy. Here we go. All right, 2017 L400 to the rescue. Let's see what you can actually do now. I doubt it's going to be quite as fast or as, like, mud-focused as the 17L400 is. But, I mean, it's not doing the worst job in the world. But I would love to see some real, full-on, like, mud-set-up tires. Now, when you do go slow in it, you are, like, going to be able to get through most mud. Especially on this setup. I mean, you're going to be fine. You just have to go really, really, really slow. That's why I would love to see some of those BKT tires on the uh like on this thing itself i think it would really wake this thing up in terms of mud performance and really at the end of the day i mean it will make it through the mud it, you just have to be going a little bit slow to do it so if you're totally okay with like doing a slow cruise through the mud like this i mean you're fine nothing to worry about but if you want to rip through the mud like you can in like the l400 or limes obs you might need to go with a little bit of a different truck but Still, though, the actual, like, the looks and the aesthetic of this thing going through a mud pit is still priceless. Even if you are going slow, it's still a priceless view to see. So, let me go ahead and bring it up onto this little, I say island, it's not really an island, it's just like a slightly elevated bit of terrain. But now we're gonna grab the Yeatmobile mud truck, and we're gonna freaking send it. Like, this thing, I'm just gonna launch it. Launch it straight into the mud. I'm not even gonna go over to the jump, I'm just gonna go, like, straight up go for it. We got the mud gearbox in it, and it should be, like, perfect for this. Come on. It's obviously not as fast as, like, the fast gearbox, but this high range is actually specifically geared for mud, and when you drive it, I mean, you can absolutely tell exactly what it was built for. Now, of course, TC's Yeatmobile is on consoles, so you guys can run this thing on Sling Valley Mud Park, you can run it on West Georgia Mud Park, and as you can see, I mean, it rips. It's right up there with the 2017 L400 in terms of its performance level. Now, you could put the fast gearbox in this thing, and you could go quite a bit faster in the mud, but I actually kind of want to see how it does on the backflip ramp. Oh, 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 oh! Almost. I mean, it bounced off the nose, but, like, even then, it still did really, really well. Let's finish this off with a good jump. A good send. Come on! Send it! I love that weight balance. Yo! And wheelied right out of it. That is what it's all about right there. That is absolutely what it's all about right there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any adventures you would like to suggest, let me know what any and all of those are down there. And if you're new around here and you'd like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I'll see you guys next time.